Welcome to the stock workout where we flex on the market to make gains. In this video I'm going to be talking about Clover Health Investments ticker symbol CLOV. Now this stock was primed to have a short squeeze. We did see a huge run up from around this $9 range all the way up until around 28 close to 29 and we've seen a huge sell off. Now a lot of people still think it's going to squeeze. Some people think it's a pump and dump. I'm just going to do this analysis, uh, bring bring a, a bit of news to your attention um, to do with Clover Health. And everyone can make their own decision on what they want to do with it. For those that are holding, for those that want to buy in, for those that want to get out. The price has been quite volatile. This, uh, this stock has uh, tested everybody's emotions with the huge run up and huge sell off. So let's see what's happening. I'm recording this uh, video pre-market. So pre-market we are up 1.95%. Yesterday the price closed at $14.34 minus $2.58 for the day which was a total of minus 15.25%. We have just been selling off for two days consecutively a huge run up all the way to touching 29 and the next day we came down and closed pretty much nearly 50% down. But before I get into the technical analysis, let me go through a little bit of news that came out. So this is an article from The Motley Fool, why AMC, Clover Health and Sundial Growers stocks tumbled today. So I'm going to go to the part that talks about Clover Health. So it says here, and speaking of selling, Bank of America just downgraded Clover Health shares to underperform, i.e. sell, Thursday morning. Although the bank's analyst admitted that Clover provides value and helps reduce costs, notes the fly.com, the stock's recent surge in price, viewed alongside lowered targets for Medicare Advantage growth, has put it at a risky valuation. Shares were trading hands for around $15 Thursday afternoon. Bank of America still thinks Clover Health is worth no more than $10 a share. So what I'll do is I'll leave the link to this article in the description down below. It talks a little bit about AMC and Sundial Growers as well. It talks about AMC uh, just issuing a uh, ton loads of more shares since, um, since when was it? Around uh, February, January, February time. But Let's get back to Clover Health. So Clover Health had an absolute huge run up. Uh, started off, actually started off back here around just under $8. Uh, had a run up, formed a flag formation at around $9 and then had a huge breakout when this short squeeze information came to light. Now, if I go to Finviz, so Finviz for Clover Health, it says the short flow is at 36.09%, but I don't believe this is up to date. I know Autex are reporting that uh, short interest has increased for this stock. So that's um, that's something to think about for those of you that do think it's going to squeeze short. Short interest is increasing for this. And this is one of those where the price needs to sustain itself high enough uh, for the shorts to have to cover to then push the price higher. But we've seen this price tumble. So what's going on we broke through this 61 fib, 61 fib retracement at 16 dollars 60 that is not something we wanted to see so we did dip below it we increased in price and then we were unable to hold it so we were unable to hold it and then the next uh on the 10th of june when market opened uh we saw the price come down again however we have held just above this 78 percent fib retracement at 13 dollars 26 now this downturn in price may have been attributed to the news that came out with Bank of America putting a $10 price target on this, uh, which is obviously lower than what it was. So there was a sell off. It held at this level here. So it held at around $13.90 uh, ish, $13.80 to 90, which is slightly above the 78% fib retracement. But that just indicates that that was a level that it was able to hold. Now, pre-market is picked up 1.88%. 1.88% is not not that good or even now is 2.16%. It's not that good in the grand scheme of things after seeing a huge run up and that does not constitute to a squeeze. But this video is just to give you some price points, uh, some levels that we've held. So right here, this level we've held. So I'm just going to mark it on the chart so everybody can see it. $13.88 has come up down here in blue. We held that. So that is a, that's a good thing. Now with this, if I just uh, bring this down, the RSI is 
currently at 41 so anything above 70 is overbought anything under 30 is oversold we are slightly oversold we are at an rsi of 41 and we have been um at a lower than um mid-range rsi for the last two trading days also another thing i want to point out volume so volume decreased volume has been decreasing in the last few days so volume on this day here was around 700 million and then it decreased and now it's decreased again so volume yesterday was only 155 million and the average volume for the last 10 days is 154 million so we need to see that volume pick up we need to see two things we need to see the price pick up and the volume pick up now when you see that volume pick up you most likely are going to see this uh, rsi spike if there is buying bear that in mind if there's buying if shorts cover as well we are going to see that rsi pick up and go into this overbought territory like it has here and that in in turn will push that price higher now this price point of 13 dollars 88 if we don't hold that, so the 78% fib retracement is given a price point of $13.26. If we are unable to hold $13.88, um, you can expect it to come down to $13.26. If it doesn't hold the $13.26, just like it didn't hold the 61 fib retracement here at $16.60, and you saw the price come down and it came towards the 78% fib retracement, if it is unable to hold this fib retracement here, you may see the price come down back towards where it started at around nine dollars at which point you've got a question whether you want to continue holding this stock whether it is going to squeeze or isn't yes i agree and i know that short interest is really high on this but the price needs to be sustained quite high for them shorts to have to cover otherwise it's, it's, it's sort of a, a back and forth it's a battle between the two um if we're unable to hold this price high enough then the shorts don't really have to cover then the shorts are, are going to win um so if we're unable to hold this 78 fib retracement you're going to see it come back down and this is 100 percent fib retracement that means you're back to where you started which is at nine dollars when i've drawn this fib retracement at which point you've got to consider is it worth cutting your losses or do you want to con continue holding it this is not financial advice so this is just giving you some price points uh just factors to take into consideration so you can make the best decision possible when you do your trades i think a good price point before that 78 percent fib retracement is this 13.88 because we have been hovering around this um quite quite on quite a few of these candles here this is the hourly chart um so we have bounced off this quite a few times this $13.88 and if we if we can and if we do see a price uh pick up today uh then maybe we can continue an uptrend from here but who knows these are your price points um make the best decision possible using the information um that you're receiving it can still quite possibly squeeze because short interest is quite high but again with these meme stocks this is one of them ones where you don't know until it happens and when it happens it happens really really quickly um so really it just depends how you want to play this but as i've already mentioned ideally we do want to hold that $13.88 and that $13.26 price point if we don't hold that and we see a downturn there we are back we are going to head back to where we started at which point a squeeze does not look likely um so that's it for this video if you appreciate that uh drop us a like hit that subscribe button so i can keep bringing you more content and before i go one last thing just remember keep an eye out on that volume we need that volume to pick up and i will see you on the next one